Hey guys, this is gonna be Chains of Common using Rakiata's Dan Sword build and this is one of the better builds that I did. In fact, this build is fast, feels tanky, damage is pretty high and the budget is around 10 to 15 divines depending on quality of the items that you wanna get. Uh, this isn't really strictly saying a bossing build but it does shred bosses really quickly. This is This build is the consequence of me planning builds for two days and then giving up and then just doing this because I, I knew that this will work really well. Uh, Chains of common builds are very simple and I think Chains of common builds are even good introductory build to minion builds. You cannot use specters, you can only use animated minions. So animated guardian, animated uh, weapons, uh, dancing dervish and that's pretty much it. No relics, no specters, no like uh, purity minerals, anything else. And the uh, itemization is also pretty simple. However, you do need to kind of have a, an initial budget because you, you want your animate garden to be immediately as tanky as it can be because you don't want it uh, accidentally dying. My animate garden only uh, dropped is, like 50% of its HP once when I just let it stand on that any dead box otherwise it it never really was in danger but with this build uh, the reason why i say it's not really a bossing build i mean it can do bosses it can do like uh, general bosses pinnacle bosses but not uber bosses not like uh, Cirrus would be bad maven would be bad because to get your minions it relies on kill and to get kills against bosses you kind of have to use writing jars i am carrying two i do not have balbala keystone but you could use Balbala and get uh, the, the Traitor Keystone to generate flash charges passively faster. But it's not really designed for that and your minions will die. They will have 4 seconds of in invulnerability after being created. But after that they're gonna die and you're gonna have to rely on flash like really really hard against tougher bosses. So you don't really want to take this to like serious bosses like Cirrus, Maven, stuff like that. But pretty much everything else that has bosses inside maps will work just fine. Uh, this build has currently in my setup 10 million DPS with uh, 14 weapons. The damage feels absolutely fine. Uh, the tankiness feels like very nice, but I am using Defiance of Destiny unique amulet. I made a video about it. It's it's amazing amulet. I only died pretty much to Destiny Dead, uh, to Ice Nova, and uh, like two other one shots that just straight up killed me. Uh, like normal enemy hits do not kill me. I don't even feel like they are even doing anything to me. And this could also be because my minions are critting very often and chilling enemies, freezing them, shocking them. So it also adds extra save. And despite me having only 5000 HP, I feel I feel tanky. I know that I'm not like actually tanky because my defenses is just like 2000 armor, 64, 62 block, and that's it. And then the amulet. The amulet just carries me. The amulet currently, if you want to buy the cheapest, is like uh, 4, 5, 6 divines depending on the rolls. And I think it's definitely worth it. The rest of my items, the animate garden is using Rakata's dance, which was like one divine. And then Grekul's spell. It also has the, I forgot the name, I'm gonna put it on the screen. It has the helmet that makes it unaffected by poison and gives it a life recoup. Uh, the gloves, grey bind gloves for the uh, animate garden. The boots, some random uh, boots with just movement speed and... and Pretty much nothing else but it could be like brittle boots so the animate garden items are cheap even if it dies it's cheap i am not even using level 21 animate garden it's just level 20. the helmet you don't need any like special crafted helmet just bone helmet because it gives minute damage and just whatever else you need like life resistances the weapon can be a bit pricier but like plus levels don't matter because you cannot raise the level of your animated guardian weapons so you just get straight up minion damage minion attack speed is, is probably the best uh, modifier minion damage minion attack speed minion critical strike chance and if you can minion, minion critical damage same goes on the shield when it comes to minions there are always jewels are always uh, kind of pricey but i managed to buy a bunch of jewels that were like 30 years 50 years each and I have, I believe, six or seven jewels like that. Like overall, the main cost of this build is just Defiance of Destiny. And I did not try playing without it, but I would assume it would not feel great. Because I have a bit of recube and my minions are freezing stuff. But otherwise, the block is just not gonna save me. And I don't have a lot of like uh, recovery otherwise. Now, one thing I'm gonna mention Pantheon Powers early on, get, uh, get the immunity to freeze as soon as possible, as soon as possible. Uh, and then uh, Soul of Rislata just to passively regenerate uh, Writing Jars, like when you're going for the, for the Labyrinth, you need to have this. 
if you don't have the Valbala, the Traitor Keystone from the Brutal Restrain. But you can actually very easily incorporate this Brutal Restrain by placing it here, picking up this, then you also get more Dexterity. So you may need fewer Dexterity things. And uh, Dexterity I actually needed quite a bit and I solved it by getting Tattoos on the Intelligence nodes. And then I believe one Jewel that gives Dexterity. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this build until end of the league. I'm gonna go over my items now and, and uh, the rest of this stuff, but that's the gist of this build. Just fast, pleasant to play, just destroys everything. And in general, it's like very simple. So I think uh, if you never played a minion build and minion builds are kind of uh, daunting and uh, like all the specters and all the other things, maybe try this one. By the way, in the, in the path of building, it's annoying, but when you switch item sets to view the animate guardian items, uh, you're gonna have to reset up the weapon sets for the animated guardian weapons. So like if you, if, if you look at the animate guardian items, Rakiata's Dance, more of Conquest, Unaffected by Poison, which I think is kind of nice, but unneeded and not needed. I just gave it to have some recube and that's it. Uh, Grackle spell just to get 10% life regen, that's pretty much it. Just buy the cheapest one, doesn't matter the flat life. Uh, Grey Bind so that it gets all the kills attributed. Not all, it's still within certain uh, unit radius because when Animated Guardian gets the kill, it summons level 20, Animated Guardian's weapon. If the animate, uh, Animated Guardian's weapons gets the kill, it summons level 18. So it is a bit weaker. So you want Grey Bind so it summons the stronger weapons. And then the boost, like I said, just trash boots, just movement speed and, and resistance, which it does not need. But you could get Brittle Ground Boots, uh, which would add a bit more crit chance. But I just did not want to rely on the uh, Brittle Ground at all. Now you have to go back to default setup, select this weapon, select them to have the uh, Raketa's Dance only and if you want to see a full DPS again you have to go here again you have to select 14 weapons is the maximum and then select that and then you're gonna see the actual DPS and uh, another thing is that it doesn't really have conditions you just get to the enemy you click assassin's mark you click signal prey I usually just W E and then uh, right mouse click and then that's it and then you, you just do full damage Chains of Command currently has Rootless. Some of the supports don't even have quality. In my thought process was Rootless and Multi-Strike kind of go well together if you want big hits, but they're not gonna happen very often. But once it happens, it's gonna apply like a stronger chill, stronger freeze and stronger shocks. And stronger shocks means more damage overall. Uh, and in Path of Building, I believe I only selected 10% shock. So it's not gonna shock for like a lot against bigger bosses but i think it does shock for quite a bit so yeah volatility as well rootless elemental damage of attacks predator support which is kind of important multi-strike it does not need quality because it increases mainly physical damage and it doesn't really have much physical damage and then uh, critical strike damage support which you can also use critical strike chance early on to have more consistent crits and freezes but later on the these weapons should have, let's see, around 44% crit chance. Uh, 4.52 crit multi, which is kind of high. I did want a trigger weapon just to avoid clicking more buttons, you know, because I can pretty much shield charge and trigger desecrate and then spirit offering. Um, with, um, the desecrate is with the spell cascade. Uh, spirit offering gives minions critical strike chance and crit multi. Uh, if you are running out of mana, you can actually select a life mastery. The skill cost life instead of 30% of mana cost, that can also help early on. Uh, then my animate garden is linked to Feeding Frenzy, because I cannot have any other minions, so I have to use Feeding Frenzy somewhere. And to counter the aggressiveness, I don't want it to be too aggressive, so I'm also using Meat Shield. And then minion life, and that's it for animate garden. Ideally, you could want, uh, could get like level 21, maybe with the alcohol for increased maximum health if you can afford, maybe craft a minion helmet with uh, like plus two to minions so that it could boost the uh, animate guidance, you can also craft the, uh, you, ca you can craft shaper's helmet, it has nearby enemies take increased elemental damage so that could also add a bit of damage, but like I'm not gonna be doing like serious and those serious bosses and my damage is just plenty I don't need more damage so I didn't bother with that shield charge with faster attacks I did not like the idea of using shield charge but once I set it up once I got enough attack speed it feels great it absolutely feels great uh, frost blink in case I need to go over some stuff precision wrath and generous and yes wrath wrath works better than hatred 
Uh, convocation, of course, Tempest Shield for more block, Assassin's Mark. The uh, jewels are pretty much like that. The elemental damage can be any. It can be cold, it can be fire. Lighting would be the best, but it is also the most expensive because of absolution. But otherwise, you want minion attack speed and then life for yourself. On the large cluster jewel, uh, Vicious Bite because it gives crit chance, crit multi. Uh, you also want Blessed Rebirth and uh, Dread March. You can actually go for the Dread March. You can actually go for the uh, the one that gives leech. No, I do not even have minion leech. The weapons are gonna be resummon constantly while clearing so you don't even need duration early on i actually picked up this the last i picked up the this one to get give them damage and speed then i picked up that uh, to get uh, resistances for myself after act 10 you're gonna lose even more resistances so, so that helps a lot and then picked up that to make the animate guardian tanky because the armor is level 70 that's when you can set it up and for leveling I, the, the leveling i leveled with the animate weapons and i did not like the leveling part because Damage wasn't too great. It was okay at the start, but every zone you have to summon the weapons. It was just annoying. You had to use like Bladefall. I would rather just use like uh, some Raging Spirits for leveling or Absolution or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter how you level. Uh, I will link Path for building import code in the description as always and add like uh, separately in the description the Animate Guardian weapons or Animate Guardian items. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this build. By the way, if you want more damage per kill, though. Could actually add like 2 million. Uh, if you look at this, 10.4 million with per kill stow, 13.5. So it adds like 3 million DPS in this case. Uh, but uh, you're gonna be a lot squishier. If you can figure out how to be tankier and still use per kill stow, go with per kill stow. It would be cheaper if you can still figure out how to be tanky. That's pretty much it for this video. I already planned my next build and started. It's gonna be Flamewood. It's gonna be a bossing build. It's gonna have like absolute monster amount of damage. But the clay speed is not gonna be very pleasant. So until then, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.